Today we're making lemon roasted potatoes and parsnips with garlic, basil, and burrata cheese. Now if you're not familiar with burrata cheese, it's basically an Italian cheese made from mozzarella and cream. So that means it's nice and creamy and you're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, I'd like to start off with chef joke number one. And in fact, today I'm gonna do something a little different because I was having so much fun with these jokes, I decided to have three. So that means there'll be one at the very end. Okay, so what disease is the biggest killer of potatoes? Tuberculosis. <laughs> okay, so let's get into our recipe. I have here some gold potatoes. These are organic, so I've already rinsed them off, but I'm not going to peel them because I don't need to. After I cut them into, say, quarters, I'm gonna place them onto a, a parchment paper covered baking sheet. So we're gonna peel a parsnip here and then cut it into coins. Parsnips tend to be a little bit strong, but if you roast them, it really mellows out the flavor. Now I'm bringing out the red onion, and we want to chop these into larger pieces so they don't dry out in the oven. So next we're going to add some fresh garlic, and you know what that's going to do? It's going to make it taste yummy. So mince up your garlic nice and fine. Sprinkle the garlic on top, and then drizzle everything with some good olive oil. Add a good sprinkle of salt and pepper. Now get in there with your hands and massage those potatoes and onions and garlic. You want to make sure everything is coated in oil. Spread everything out so that all the vegetables are touching the bottom of the pan. We're going to bake these in a 450 degree oven for approximately 45 to 50 minutes and I'm going to turn them over uh, at about halfway through cooking time. So while the potatoes are roasting in the oven, it must be time for chef joke number two. All right, here we go. Who is a potato's favorite author? Edgar Allan Potato. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna make a little drizzle sauce. So when the potatoes come out of the oven and they're done, we're gonna sp just sprinkle this over the top with lemon and olive oil and all these herbs you see here. And it's gonna be delicious. Okay, now I'll start off with the rosemary. I took some of this out of my garden, just peel off a few petals. You don't need a lot of this. We're just gonna put a little bit. Give it a nice chop so it's nice and small. And then place it in a bowl. Now I have some chives here. These are organic chives. You know, take your scissors and you could just snip off a few and put them right into your bowl, okay? It's actually easier using some nice clean scissors than trying to cut it. We get about a tablespoon's worth there. Of course, we have our olive oil, and I'm going to play around with how much I'm going to put in here, but a couple of tablespoons for sure. And then my lemon, I got this one right out of my garden. I have a nice little lemon tree, and it is small. And what I like to do with that is zest it first, and then we'll squeeze the juice into the bowl. Now, you don't want to get into the white part too much because it's more bitter. So you just go one swipe and rotate. And we'll cut that lemon in half and juice it right into our bowl. Give it a little stir. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it and a little more pepper. And that's ready to go. Here's our potatoes. After cooking, they look absolutely fantastic. You want to see all that golden brown stuff going on. Our potatoes are done. It took about 45 minutes or so. It varies, ovens vary. So I'm just gonna place this. You wanna serve these up pretty quick while they're nice and hot. So I'm just gonna place, place these over here on this dish. Now I, I will say it looks like some of my garlic did burn. My oven was pretty hot. You could just use garlic powder, which might be a better choice, but I'll leave that up to you. Now what we have left is our little sauce that we're gonna put on here. Now I may not use it all, you know, cause I just kind of just, you know, eyeballed it and said that's how much I'm gonna use. But this nice lemony flavor is gonna be fantastic on these potatoes, let me tell you. All right, what the heck, I'm gonna use it all. <laughs> Let's go for it. 
Okay, now I have some parsley that I will put on. Let's put on the cheese, okay? So I took my little, my Beretta cheese, very soft, and you wanna just take it into pieces and just push it in there all around. You can kinda of see how it's kinda of stringy. So you wanna let it sit out, I would say, probably maybe 15, 20 minutes before you're gonna actually put it on the potatoes. And this one ball was about four ounces. Now, the last thing I want to do is add a little bit of parsley. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of parsley on top. And I'm going to cut up a little bit of basil. Actually, probably a fair amount of basil since it's my favorite. Stack your leaves, roll them, and chop. I like to chop my basil at the end because it does turn black. It oxidizes pretty quickly, so I would hold off. There you go. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button to let me know. See how simple that was? I'm going to dive in. I can't wait to have a bite. Try and get a little of that cheese in there. Mmm, that cheese, nice and creamy. Man, wonderful flavors going on here. The parsnip is great roasted, and the potatoes, oh, they're just fantastic. The lemon, the garlic, everything. It's just delicious. And I have got a recipe you're going to want to try with this. That is my oven fried chicken. Got to give that a go, guys. It is delicious. I'll leave a link for you right here on the screen. Go check it out. Make these two together. You're going to have a great meal. So here's our last chef joke for the day. All right. Who knows why I won the potato hiding contest? Any ideas? Because my carbohydrate was so good. <laughs> that was my favorite. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.